Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is a Godot game engine tutorial on how to use the auto tile feature so that you can use your tile map or tile set in the most effective and efficient way possible. This tutorial has the basics and should get you started in the right direction. So let's start with step one. First you have to make a tile map or you can just steal one from the internet while no one is looking. However, if you are being an honest person and making the tile set or tile map yourself, use this video of mine that will step you through the logic of all the tiles you will need. The link is in the description. Everything in that video tutorial will work perfectly for the auto tile feature. In fact, I will reuse the tile set from that tutorial for this one. Once you have your tile set, go ahead and import it into Godot. Start a new scene and add a tile map node. In that node, go to tile set click on empty and new tile set then click on it again you cannot drag and drop here so click on the little plus icon and add your tile map click on new auto tile and turn on the grid snap after you click on the tile map you can adjust the grid snap to your needs the default is 32 by 32 and in my case I need 16 by 16 now select all the tiles that you wish to include in your auto tile tile set the thing that makes the auto tile tool work is the bit mask. While the bit mask tool is selected, you will add little red squares to the tile map everywhere you click. The location of these red squares helps the program know where each tile will go during auto tile drawing. The default size for the bit mask is 2x2, two two, and this will be enough if you have the simple tile map with just walls, corners, and inside corners. But if you have a more complex tile map like this one, then you will have to change it to 3x3. Three three. You can do that by selecting selected tile and then change bit mask size to 3x3 and don't forget to change the cell size to match that of the grid snap that you have on. Now the easiest way to proceed is just to put a red square on everything except for the surfaces that you don't want the player to pass through. In the case of the tile without walls or Fernando as I like to call it, it will be everything. And in the case of the tile with walls on every side, also known as Helga, it is only in the middle square. You cannot include slopes in your auto tile set. At least, I don't know how to do it. Maybe someone else does. Uh, maybe there's a way out there. I don't know. Once you have everything under the bit mask, add collision shapes and occluders as needed. And with the icon button, you can change which tile will represent your auto tile set. In most cases, it's Fernando. Right away, you can use your new tile set in this scene. Be sure to adjust the cell size here as well but we will want to be able to use this in other scenes as well, so we will need a step five. Click on your tile map and get back to the place where you would be able to edit it, and click on the save icon up in the corner, and save it with the name that you want, and keep the file type as .tres. Now in any scene that you'll be using this tile set, you can create a tile map node, drag and drop your saved tile set into the appropriate spot, and you're ready to draw out your level. This tutorial will get you going in the right direction, and there really isn't a step six. Sorry. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. There's a little bit more to this tutorial than I thought there would be, and so I, I kind of just glossed over some things. If you're really kind of confused, leave a comment down below. I just try to keep my videos pretty short, but if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, you know what to do, and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much, and have a good day.